Hi, my name is Diesel, and I'm the owner and operator of For You To See Mobile Auto Detailing here in beautiful Hotlanta, Georgia. Now I'm gonna show you how to restore a leather seat. Now this right here, once again, is a Oldsmobile 442, brand new leather interior, so there's nothing to really restore, but I'm gonna show you how to clean it and condition it. If you start having tears and cracks, best leave that up to a professional, maybe a professional upholstery shop, or they actually have companies that actually spray dye into it and fix it that way. But one thing you wanna do is I like to use Lexol. You use a Lexol cleaner, you spray it on the seat, you rub it in real good till you get a lather, and then you wipe it off. The final stage is you wanna condition it. You always wanna keep your leather seats conditioned, especially the driver's side, because that's the one that you use the most. Basically what you'll do is I would take a towel, I would spray it right on the seat, but this right here tends to splatter. So I actually spray it on the rack, and I just rub it on the seat in a circular motion. Rub it in real good. Try to get in all the crevices, all the little cracks. Get a good coating over it. Let it sit for a minute. Then you actually take another towel or turn your towel over and buff it in. That give it a nice little luster. You don't want it to be too shiny. A lot of people get the misconception that a leather sheet should be really shiny. You don't want to do that because it doesn't look natural. You want to get a nice little sheen over the seat. And that's basically it. Now, a thing that I like to do sometimes, I usually like to, like to use my bare hands on applying the conditioner. Um, you can do that also. It doesn't wipe off the conditioner as much. Either way you do it, you should have a really good looking seat when you're finished. Once again, that's how you clean and condition a leather seat.